Welcome back to my channel. We are doing something that I haven't done in the longest freaking time ever. First off though, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you really should because the other week I did a poll where I asked you guys what videos you want to see on my channel now that Scalisha's done. I had a whole bunch of different things. I haven't done a room decor video in the longest time ever. This is me literally giving you guys what you asked for. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hi, my name is Alicia Marie and you most definitely should subscribe and hit that notification bell and it'll notify you on your phone every single time that I post. And guess who's vlogging behind the scenes of this entire video? So if you are not watching my vlog channel, you really should. Anyways, let's get on to this video and I hope you guys like it. So this may just be one of the easiest DIYs you'll ever do. It is this holographic cup and let's get started. First, you need some holographic um, adhesive. This is actually pretty easy to find. So I'm just tracing out the dimensions of my tin. I'm going to measure that out cut it and then stick it on. Just be careful sticking it on because sometimes you can get air bubbles and that is it. You have this adorable tin and you can use it for anything. I used it for my makeup brushes. You can also use it for pens and pencils by your office or your desk. I really like it. I told you it's seriously one of the easiest ones and it's super, super cute. Like So this may or may not be one of my favorite DIYs I've ever made. Here are some of the things that you need. It's so easy and amazing. I love it. So first, I'm painting a small layer of yellow paint all over the mason jar. It's totally fine if it looks messy. I think overall I did about two layers of this. Let it dry and then draw small little Vs. I used a brown Sharpie and then right above that, I did a black V as well. And it just makes it look more like a pineapple. Once you're done with that, I also took this little like green fake plant thing, stuck it inside, and you have the most adorable mason jar pineapple thing ever. So cute. I also made a watermelon one. I just love how these turned out. I think they are so cute. DIY is this Urban Outfitters inspired macrame. I've seen these all over a whole bunch of stores and they're actually really, really easy to make. So first I'm just taking some yarn. You can choose whatever color you want. And this is kind, it's really easy, but it seems complicated. You're just going to wrap the yarn around your forearm like this 10 times, cut that. And then you have this loop. Then you're gonna cut that again. So basically it's just eight like long pieces of string. So you're gonna fold it like this, as you can see. And then you're gonna make a slip knot. So using your fingers, just follow what I'm doing and pull the strings through. So that way it's looped around the rod like this. And then you're going to fill up the entire rod. I did about 10 strands of this and it fit the entire thing. So you should have something that looks like this. And then if you want yours to be a little more extra, go ahead and get a metal ring like this and then tie five of white yarn strings on it like so. Go ahead and tie some yarn on the ends of the rod so that way you can hang it up on the wall. And don't forget to also attach the ring to the center of that. Then after you do this, just to make it a little more cute, I guess, <laughs> if you want to, I actually went in and cut the edges of it just because I felt like it looked a little more put together that way. But that is it. It's actually really easy to make. It looks complicated, but I swear anyone can do it. So I actually love these cutout frames. The little Chloe one is so cute. Here's what you're gonna need. It's really easy to make. Go ahead and pick whatever paint color you want. I went in with this really pretty turquoise color. And then I'm just going to paint one full coat all over the frame. I see marvels, I see so while you let that dry, go ahead and pick whatever photo you wanna use and cut it out completely so it's just the subject in the photo by itself. So I was really loving this phone picture. So now you're going to glue it on. I'm using a very light layer of Mod Podge. This is the matte finish. So stick on your photo in the center and then take another light layer of Mod Podge and put it over the actual photo. And it just gives it this really rustic kind of look when it dries that makes it look real cute. So let that dry and then you are done. I think this is so cute and also a perfect gift idea. So anyways, 
those are all of the DIYs I wanted to show you guys. I hope that you liked this. Do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up if you want more DIYs like this in the future. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Did you like it? Did you like it? I hope that you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which DIY was your absolute favorite one. And yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.